Grace Hill. She's got the racetrack. She leads to three quarters. She's over there in 121 and one. Outside Kobe's GG already holding up the white flag. Pocket sitter is Silver Label. Treacherous Dragon in the far outside. Not tonight. She came up flat. Three quarters in 21 and one. And Grace Hill is packing. Grace Hill's up front by two. Back into second, Silver Label. Kobe's GG and so much more. It is Grace Hill, a monster performance in the Roses are Red as she wins by two and a half lengths in 147 and four. A stakes track and Canadian record mile for Grace Hill. They're off and they're pacing. Odds on Shaggy, Fearful Intent, Rise and Shine, Seaside, and By the Missile. From post eight floats out of there, but it's odds on Shaggy who cuts the corner and drives up into the lead. Fearful intent and Aaron Merriman will tuck in behind from second. Rise and shine is Seaside on the go for Ronnie Wren Jr. And he pilots him to the outside by the missile from post eight. Gets a spot in fourth, about four lengths from the leader. Three back to Feeling Weston who races at the pylons. Fifth, one last lap from the second tier is sixth. Then comes odds on Capitalism. Out of the two at the back, Shane Falco. Section line, big rise, last 25 and four. Bone crushing opening quarter. Rise and shine, Seaside to the front for Ronnie Wren Jr. Clear a length and a half to odds on Shaggy as by the missile gets his cue now. Yannick Jingra steps him off the rail past Fearful Intent, and here comes the missile. He's charging after Rise and shine, Seaside as they come to the halfway point. Odds on Shaggy is third. Fearful Intent fourth. Feeling Western staying in for the moment fifth. One last laugh is next. Section line, Big Rise steps off the rail, then odds on Capitalism and Shane Falco. 53 and three, torrid half mile. They complete five eighths and head to the back stretch, and they're all chasing the one to nine by the missile. On the engineer, a length and a half. Jingra gives them some reminders now as they step across and approach three quarters. Rise and sign, Seashy, just two lengths behind while racing second. From the back of the pack, Feeling Western is launching past odds on Shaggy. 121 for three quarters by the missile. Into the far turn, he's clear by four. It's a race against time. Rise and shine, Seashy is left behind in his dust wall second, then odds on Shaggy as they come to the top of the stretch by the missile. Off the turn, he's clear by four. Four. Rise and shine, Seaside is second, then odds on Shaggy in deep stretch. Watch the clock by the missile. Down to the wire by five. 148 and two, he just missed. Rise and shine, Seaside was second. Trying to reel her in is MM Stream second. Jiggy Jog has another eighth of a mile. The mile was 151 for Jiggy Jog. Final move, MM Stream on the outside. MM Stream upsets Jiggy Jog. One, 19 and four for three quarters. Kobe GG gives it up to Silver Label. Silver Label trying to open up on them. Gray Hill with dead aim, but she's full out. So is Michaela. And on the far outside, always be first. Silver Label in a romp in the Lady Liberty. Silver Label, then Michaela, then Grace Hill, and always be first in one, 47 and three, equaling the stakes record. Jiggy Jog turns on the Jets. She just took off. Jiggy Jog got the word from Dexter Dunn. 123 and four into the stretch of the graduate final. And Jiggy Jog, just like that, has five length separation. Scrambles on for a second. Looks like money down the set of the racetrack. Looking for second now. Slay is full out. And so is Keg Stand on the inside. Jiggy Jog, she's the current queen of trotting. Trotting perfection, Jiggy Jog in 150 and three. And they turn home in the Hamiltonian, 123 and one, 27 and one, uh, third quarter speed. And it's oh well, oh well's under heavy urging though. Oh well, up your day, oh, towers up late on the outside, oh well. And on the inside, shooting through late, tactical approach is coming on. Tactical approach from post 10, the money man with the huge upset in the Hamiltonian. Tactical approach. Rode the rail to win it over Oh Well, Up Your Dale, and Celebrity Bambino in one. They're off and they're trotting. Refine gets the first call. She fires out quickly. It's academic. Trying to protect his rail position into the opening turn. It's academic. Cuts the corner. Up into the front in front of Refine. Caviar Gold on the outside. Merriman ponders his course of action with him driving after the leader. Popperdelli's off stride. Popperdelli from fourth made a break. So that's going to leave a spot for Caviar Gold to tuck up. The Mighty Hill gets away racing in fourth. Jogging to the bank is fifth as they race up the back stretch and approach the opening quarter. Guido D from the second tier follows next. Then comes Smoking Jets. Long shot. And after the miscue, Popperdelli on the inside of the course. 27 and 1. 
Opening quarter speed, it's Academic. Takes the field onto the far turn. Front stepping here by a length and a half on Refined, who gets the pocket ride in front of Caviar Gold, who's racing third. Smoking Jet from the back of the pack was able to flush out the mighty hill. Dexter Dunn steps off the rail with him. So Smoking Jet picks up some cover. Jogging to the bank is pinned in at the pylons. Third up now comes Long Shot past Guido D. Papardelli trotting at the rear. 56 and 4, a 29 and 3 second panel. A lot of respect for its Academic. As they head into the clubhouse turn, the Mighty Hill trying to do it uncovered, tracking down this big favorite, It's Academic, who takes the field onto the back stretch. The Mighty Hill is first up a length and a half behind. Refined has had a great trip behind the favorite, racing along in third. Smoking Jet is second up behind his stablemate, racing along in fourth. Caviar Gold is in the three hole, fifth, needs somewhere to go for Merriman as they head off to three quarters, 124 and three. Into the far turn they move. It's Academic has made every pull so far. The lead looks to finish the job. Clear from Refined. The Mighty Hill is off stride in front of Smoking Jet. At the pylons is Caviar Gold. There's an eighth of a mile left to go in the Aldrich, and It's Academic turns with the lead. Refined out for the drive, then Caviar Gold. It's Academic in deep stretch. It's Academic five in a row. Refined was home second. Caviar Gold third. Jogging to the bank fourth. 151 and four. Kentucky Championship Stake worth $80,000. Field of seven run game. And uh, they are all fan to pacing. Cannibal left the gate quickly. Bamboozler also fired up with Kobe Lubak. But we got wound out at the uh, pylons. It's my show. We'll take an early tuck in the uh, fourth spot. Is for once in my life. About race again, fifth. Larsty is next, sixth, in front of a cool moment as they circle that opening turn. Bam Boozler on top and quickly stretches out to a two and a half length lead from Catapult. Copy the whack. Chasing in third, it's my show. Reserved the early stages, fourth in front of for once in my life. The opening quarter was 26 and four. Larsity came away chasing sixth at a cool moment. Tracks at the back of the pack as they move single file across the back stretch and pass the three eighths mark. Bam Boozler, 14 to one here, the step up. Bam Boozler calls the shots up top. Cannibal has had a perfect pocket ride there. Odds out at three to five. Colby Luak. Leg one winner. He's tracking third right now. Four lengths off the lead. Is it my show? Is yet to get cranked up the half quick here. 53 and one. 26 and two in that second quarter. For once in my life, still five will begin fifth in front of Larcity. At a cool ball, but it's double digits off the lead. Three eighths to pace out of the far turn. Bam, Boozler has been there every step. Cannibal could have teed it a bit better there from the pocket. Kobe Luak starts to gap off slightly third. It's my show is underway up on the outside of fourth in front of for once in my life. They race towards the top of the stretch. Bam. Boozler there. Here's Cannibal up and out of the uh, pocket, but that's my show. But we got three quarters, 119 and three. So Bam Boozler carving up a crisp pace. Cannibal trying to blast past off the perfect trip. Here's It's My Show, though, rallying up on the far outside. It's My Show and Cannibal. The two favorites go at it in mid stretch. It's My Show lunging up on the far outside. It's My Show. Sprints past a win. Cannibal was second for once in my life, finished third. It was tied for fourth, 146 and four. Three quarters, 121 and two, 27 and one. Third quarter, seven colors is dueling with Christchurch, but here is Confederate. The pace champion is unleashed here by the Bionic Man, and Confederate draws clear and kicks clear by three. Now four, it's all Confederate in the cane pace, then seven colors, and then Christchurch and close. Hungry Angel Boy or Buka Fallis, 147 and 3 equals the Kane Pace stakes record. Confederate. 121 and 4. 27 and 3 in that third quarter into the stretch. Bellissima Hanover. Sylvia Hanover on the outside with her relentless rally coming on. Beach Cowgirl is raging on the rail. Here comes Beach Cowgirl. Sylvia Hanover on the outside. Beach Cowgirl looks for the upset. Sylvia Hanover. Sylvia Hanover. Sensational Sylvia in 148 and 3. 